everybody, I'm Brian. And I'm Jake. Welcome to Nevada Trails. Uh, we're here thanks to our sponsors, Planet Mountain Trail Association, Motor Motorcycle Racing Association in Northern Nevada, and Toyota Arena Cross. Uh -huh. um, like usual, we're going to be talking uh, about different sports done in Nevada's backcountry. Who's doing what? Everything from backpacking to four-wheeling. Uh -huh. and, and how to do it safely. Uh, how to get involved, you know, and, uh, and be responsible. Exactly. And you can check out our website at nv-trails.org. Or view us on the computer at webcast, uh, nvtrails.bactv.org. Or you can email us at tv mm -hmm. at nv-trails.org. And today we're going to be talking to Billy Cuddy. Uh -huh. uh, Tahoe Tandem Hang Gliding. And watching uh, your video. Okay. My first experience. hang gliding experience. So. Spectacular experience. Should be pretty cool. So this is Nevada Trails. Part of the show we want viewers to send in DVDs of themselves enjoying Nevada's trails in a safe, responsible way. What to do and how to do it. Product reviews and driving tips. If you like 30 second, one minute, or two minute DVDs, you can drop them off or mail to Nevada Trails, care of Michael Cycle Works, 2680 South Carson Street, Carson City, Nevada, 89701. And remember, we want to keep these things educational. We want them to be fun to watch, but nothing dangerous. If you have a club, you can send us your information. We'll get out any club events that are going on. You can check out our website at www.nv-trails.org or email us at TV at nv-trails.org. We're also on the web now, on demand, nvtrails.bactv.org. We're here with Billy Cuddy uh -huh. from TahoeTandemHandGliding.com. Thanks for coming in there, Billy. Thanks. It's good to Thanks see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And uh, you're really one of the pioneers of hand gliding. Yes, unfortunately. One of I the am. brave souls. <laughs> one of the brave souls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, you've been doing it since when? Started in 1968. Wow. A long time ago. That's great. Wasn't it off your barn? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. yeah I actually got, st I, I, I was in high school. Actually, I was in junior high school uh, in a library. Uh, don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> and I was looking at a National Geographic uh -huh. that had an article about Francis Regalo mm -hmm. and a thing called a bamboo butterfly. And I got looking at it and thought, man, I could. I could build one of these. Okay. And Regalo <laughs> worked for NASA? Yeah, at the time he okay. worked for NASA. Uh -huh. okay. And he was uh, developing a re-entry system for the Gen uh, Gemini program. Mm -hmm. And he uh, came up with a delta wing kite. And it, for a hobby, he also liked to build and play around with things, so he built a thing called a bamboo butterfly in California. And I got looking at it and thinking, man, I could build one. You know, <laughs> I could do that. Because I used to ski race. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. back in the old days, we used bamboo pole holes <laughs> to ski. And I thought, yeah, hey, I know where I can get the bamboo. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I put one together and got some plastic and some bed sheets and got up in my barn, <laughs> <laughs> ran off, and to my surprise, the thing actually flew. And my mom wasn't real excited about it because uh -huh. you know, I crashed and broke, uh, yeah, what? broke my exactly. hand. Broke my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't complain a whole lot about it. I uh -huh. put up a self-inflicted. Yeah. Can't complain. And uh, she realized that I was pretty dead set on doing this and she loaned me some money and mm -hmm. I bought some aluminum and some Dacron from a sailboat shop and went for it. The rest, yeah, is, the history, rest yeah. is history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, it's a lot of fun. And uh, so you actually went to work for? I went for a, worked for a company called Bill Bennett Delta Wing Kites uh -huh. in actually in 1969 and went on tour. Uh -huh. and started skiing for Cypress Garden water ski shows, Tommy Bartlett water ski shows, and um, a couple other tours. Uh, we went to drag races and um, parks. So you'd go behind the dragster? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. He <laughs> said the lift would be awesome. <laughs> oh, <exactly. laughs> yeah, actually, at the, at the drag strips, we used uh, an old pickup truck. Mm -hmm. And it worked fine. Wow. And we used to, and I used to go to snowmobile races mm -hmm. and would tow around the oval track with a snowmobile. Uh -huh. it, was, it was fun. Now, he was going to sue you. You had a business when you were 16 years old. Yeah. Selling built, these kites. Well, I started my own manufacturing company. Uh -huh. I started building these things um, in <laughs> my barn. And uh, I used the name in one of my advertisements. Uh, uh, Delta Wing Kite, uh -huh. and I didn't realize that Bill Bennett Delta Wing Kites had already started used and been the, running. Uses, yeah, he used the name Delta Wing, so he wrote me this formal letter. His attorney wrote me this formal letter 
and I was going to be sued. And here I am, 16 years old. So I call him up and say, you can't sue me. I'm only 16. <laughs> and Bill says, you're only 16, mate? And he's, just from, he's from Australia. Great guy. And I said, yeah. And he says, well, we can work this out. And he says, if you stop using the name, and you know, we wouldn't have any problems. And then he offered me a job. He said, do you like building these kites? I said, not yeah. really. Oh, and he said, well, how would you like to test fly for me and go on tour? <laughs> so that's, that's it. I said, I'm yeah, there. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. So I asked my mom. She said, yeah, go for it. <laughs> wow. And I, that's what I did during the summers, uh -huh. traveled around. Boy, my mom wouldn't have let me, she wouldn't even let me play football. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered about it. Like, hey, she just wanted me out of the house because I had trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, we're going to, I actually went flying with Billy, and uh, just a magnificent experience. I got to say, it's, it's, it's right up there, top thing I've ever yeah. done. It's pretty exciting. It's very yeah. exciting. And it's not only, it's exciting, but it's also very peaceful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can stay up there for a long time mm -hmm. and enjoy that experience for a long time. You can stay up for hours. Uh -huh. It's amazing how quiet it is once you get up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I yeah. haven't done the hang gliding, but skydiving. The longest, it's like, oh my gosh, this is really quiet up here. <laughs> it is. It is even more so if you've ever been in a sailplane. Sailplanes are, are quite noisy oh, like because mm -hmm. of the speeds involved. Mm -hmm. so, uh, hang gliding, we're flying at fairly modest airspeeds between you know 23 to 32 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. That's pretty quiet. And it was a pretty advanced takeoff, from what I've learned. Yes. Since then, I've been studying it pretty well. <laughs> That's a pretty advanced takeoff yes. that he does. Yeah. But you have a towing system. Yes. That you're gonna, and that kind of just you can ease into it that way. It, it, yes, it, it's while it makes training a lot easier rather than carrying a glider up and down a small training hill. Okay. Now we have a training hill that we can face any direction, because mm -hmm. we're not, you know, uh, dependent on the, on the wind coming up the hill. So we can tow pretty much any direction, uh -huh. whichever way, way the wind's blowing. But we can make the hill as big as we want it. And this is using the motorcycle right. and the trailer and... By, by applying the amount of power, it'll determine how high a glider pilot will get, the student will get it. But we you can, can keep them five, ten oh, feet can, off the ground. Exactly. Yeah. So you've got a, this motorcycle and line spooled around the wheel and you drag it out mm -hmm. and basically snatch block it back and start giving it gas and you just pull them in. That's it. It's that easy. But it's nice and easy and there's a four hour class involved before this? Is that... For an entry level introductory lesson, yeah, it's four hours. You learn how to set the glider up. You learn how to... what controls the glider. There's mm -hmm. no control, aerodynamic control surface. It's all weight shift. Mm -hmm. And then we go through safety procedures and uh, towing procedures and then... And how would people get a hold of you to do that? Go to my website. Okay. www tahoetandemhanggliding.com. Okay. And we have uh, most frequent questions that are asked. Just go down to uh, FQI, mm -hmm. uh -huh. hit that, and it'll tell you what to wear. Um, you know, and really, oh. it's not super extreme. It's not like everybody makes it out to be. It's peaceful, and, you know, you can do those things. You can do flips. You can do whatever you're trained to do. But it's it's pretty spectacular. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Tahoe Hang Gliding. Tahoe Tandem Hang Gliding. Hang gliding dot com. Dot com. Right. So. And check it out on YouTube. You know, go see mm -hmm. some what they're doing out there. So, yeah. but thank you very much for coming out, Billy. Oh, no Thanks, problem. Billy. Thanks for having me. All right. As part of the show, we would like our viewers to send in DVDs of themselves enjoying Nevada trails in a safe and responsible way. And we want to see what you're doing out there, how to do it, maybe some product reviews, driving tips, 30 second, one minute, two minute type stuff. You can drop those off at Michael Cycle Works, 2680 South Carson Street, Carson City, Nevada, 89701. Keep the videos educational, no stunts, no dangerous behavior. We want to keep things safe. Check out our website, nv-trails.org or email us at tv at nv-trails.org and you can also check us out online on our at webcast. nvtrails.bactv.org I just want to say thanks again to Toyota's mm -hmm. Arena Cross mm -hmm. for uh, giving us all the swag, all the good mm -hmm. stuff, um, shirts, tickets, all that stuff. Email us. Coming it, like November 19th, 18th, it's, 19th, It's uh, right? actually the 16th through the 18th. 16th through the 18th. And Friday and Saturday is 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Sunday is 12 o'clock is when it starts. Mm -hmm. And it's roughly 20 bucks to get mm -hmm. in or so. 
but uh, we have free tickets. So on your email, mm -hmm. put Arena Cross in the subject line. We'll put yeah. you in the drawing. And we actually gave away a golf game with cart yeah. to Pat Scullin from Hydraulic Industrial Service. And uh, I'll get in touch with you there, and we'll get you those tickets. That email paid off. Bonus. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, we're also next coming up, we have a Polaris razor we get to do some product testing heard you mobbed it and it did good huh? it jumps well <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we will be going over all that stuff we're gonna have miss arena cross on the show she'll be co-hosting with me that's gonna be tough that's gonna be tough <laughs> so, but uh, the arena cross people have been very good to us i just want to say thank mm -hmm. you again and yeah. uh, you have some pretty good news yeah. there um you know hopefully if this gets out in time we might have like one day's notice but if yeah. not um, Friends of Fordyce uh -huh. is uh, having a trail work day on uh, Saturday the 27th. Um, they're going to be meeting at uh, Fordyce Lake, uh, heading out about 8.30 or 9. And uh, I think Glenn actually has first-hand experience in this uh, muddy area they're heading uh -huh. down to. Uh -huh. I think it's like mile six and a quarter, mile marker okay. six okay. and a quarter. And, uh, you know, trying to prevent a lot of Erosion. Erosion, trail damage, you know, hopefully. Responsible use. Responsible use. Rather than just creating this massive mud hole, exactly. they're, they're going to try and uh, fix it before it's a real problem. And they're so, taking the Forest Service people out there with Yes, them? yeah. They're mm -hmm. working with uh, Forest Service, and uh -huh. they're going to be heading out uh, Sunday after the work day and, mm -hmm. and seeing how it went and what the permanent fix can and be. And if you're a hardcore four-wheeler, you mm -hmm. know where Ford Ice is, you've been there, you want to get involved and yeah. do your part. Yeah, you can talk to a Tin Man. That's his uh, uh, name on the pirate board. Uh, that's pirate4x4.com. Mm -hmm. Great source. You can get uh, lots of information uh -huh. on there. And uh, also, um, Del Albright uh -huh. with Friends of the Ruwakan is going to be guy involved, hosting guy. a leadership workshop. Um, it's going to be Veterans Weekend, uh, November 9th and mm -hmm. through the 11th. And uh, for people who go up towards uh, Rubicon, it's going to be uh, Rob's Valley Resort uh -huh. on Pice House Road. Mm -hmm. So. If you go up there, you know where it is. If not, it's not that hard to find. Uh -huh. um, but, but this is for basic training on mm -hmm. trail it's, uh He says they're going to be uh, giving uh, training on leadership, communication, mm -hmm. planning, public speaking, running meetings. So really good stuff for people trying to get involved and make things better. And there's a limit to the amount of people? 20 that... people. Okay. There are 20 people. And uh, if you're interested, you need to send in your application now. Mm -hmm. And, and they actually uh, have a selection process. If you are, you know, yeah, sure, whatever, mm -hmm. I'll do it, probably won't make the list. They but want committed people exactly. who have shown that they're mm -hmm. willing to work. And uh, you can email uh, Dennis uh, at D-M-A-Y-E-R at C-E bridge.net. So email him. You can get a copy of the application, and uh, you can apply and hopefully do this. And, you know, they said this isn't... A goofing around class. It's pretty yeah. serious. You have to be there all day, all three mm -hmm. days of the weekend. Yep. You know, it's, but if you care about your sport, once again, mm -hmm. you will do what it takes to make sure that it lives and, into the next day. And people involved know it can be frustrating. Yes. Getting, you know, figuring out how to do it. And, you know, a lot of us are just kind of put there and we don't know how we got there, but uh -huh. you're trying, you know, people are trying to do their best and this can give, this can give you yeah. tools exactly. to do it. Exactly. So, um, you know, get involved and if you got the time or make the time do that and email Dennis and exactly hopefully and get some just uh, not a ton of people out there getting involved yeah. in the OHB community well so, you know it, it's it's picking up momentum because yes. people are realizing uh -huh. that you know Lance pirate 4x4 he's yep. the guy that started pirate 4x4.com mm -hmm. definitely getting involved oh yeah you know there there's people out there but mm -hmm. there's room for more exactly exactly so you won't be towing the line all by yourself yeah but uh, you definitely, you know, strength in numbers is good. So, you know, thanks for the Friends of the Four Dice. And, exactly. And uh, Del Albright. Thanks, Del. Yeah, doing, still doing a good job. All right. Thanks. I'm here with Billy Cuddy from Tahoe Tandem Hang Gliding, and we're up here at Slide Mountain, and we're going to do a little bit of hang gliding today. So uh, kind of cold, but it'll make it smooth, right? Oh, it's going to be fun. We had got a little bit of snow last night. It's a little chilly, um, but it's going to make the flight very interesting. Very good. I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully you get out and try it too. Well, Billy's tightening up the fabric, putting in the battens, and those are the rods that give the wing its airfoil shape. 
and it gives a little bit more lift and I'm going to sign my paperwork, get all the legal stuff out of the way and put on my harness. The harness has its own parachute. You can see it on the front there, a little yellow packet. Makes me feel a little bit safer about this all. And then uh, let's see, we've got a lesson to do and just basically teaching me how to run with him at the same time. We're, we're running down a very steep incline and once we get started, we're going to have to be committed to it and have to do it right. Well, it's time to get strapped in and let Billy do his thing here. Go over everything one last time. Make sure all of our safety straps are good. Everything's all tight. And uh, looking forward to it. Well, the moment of truth has arrived. We're all strapped in here, waiting for the winds to be right. We got a few people checking the winds above us, and uh, we got some socks down below us, and just waiting for everything to be uh, perfect so we can take a run at this, and it should be a good ride. We're flying today with Brian and Bill. <laughs> What we're experiencing now is just a little bit of rough air coming over the back side of the mountain. If you look to your right, look to your right, uh -huh. see that cloud? Uh -huh. That's causing this turbulence right now. But we're just going to fly down through this valley and hope catch, to catch a thermal going up. So we will clear these trees. <laughs> yeah, we'll clear them. All right, it's a little chilly today. Definitely one of the most exciting things I've ever done. <laughs> well, we were able to catch a few thermals, fly around the valley a little bit, and we're going to be coming in for landing here. It's uh, pretty moving pretty quick, and just coming right in, and not too bad. Nice and smooth. It uh, better landing than I thought it would be. I'm here with Billy Cuddy from Tahoe Tandem Hang Gliding and we just got done jumping off of Slide Mountain 
and uh, just a spectacular feeling jumping off the mountain and taking flight. It's just it's amazing. And Billy did a wonderful job. I felt secure, safe the whole time. I just, just want to say thank you very much for a wonderful ride. Well, it was a combined effort. Uh -huh. You were a great, great student, great first time flight. We had a wonderful takeoff, good flight, and a great landing. So I congratulate you. Welcome to Hank Life. Well, thank you very much. And then uh, if you have any questions or whatever, they have a classified stuff, basically all the Tahoe area hang gliding stuff, you can go to TahoeTandemHangGliding.com and check it out. He'll answer all your questions. And if you want to, you know, paragliding, all that stuff, you can hook you up. Today's modern hang glider is very safe, reliable, and they're real easy to control. After years of, of flying and developing gliders, we've come up with some of the, probably the best performance performing beginner gliders you can ask for. We're going to de demonstrate how the glider is controlled. It's controlled by weight shift. And what we're going to have the student pilot, Brian, do is pull his body weight forward. That makes the glider go faster. If he pushes his body weight back, that will make the glider fly a little bit slower. If he allows his body to come into a neutral position, the glider will fly at a precise trimmed airspeed. And you really don't have to do much of all, anything other than enjoy the flight. This is one of the instruments that we use for hang gliding. It's called, called the auto, audio visual variometer. It gives us our altitude at launch, where we're taking off from, as well as the altitude that we're going to land at, our given landing zone. It also gives us the amount of feet that we're rising vertically or descending. In the visual, we can look at it with the numbers. Or it has an audio tone. I'm going to lower it to the valley floor, which is 5,100 feet. And as it goes up, it makes an audio tone, and then notice when it stopped going up, it quit. That little beep, beeping noise is a great noise. That's what you want to hear when you're flying. In today's modern hang gliders, we have a lot of safety uh, designed into the glider. This tube, for instance, that's right underneath this wing, it's set at a precise angle. So if the glider were to encounter a vertical position or a diving attitude, this will hold lead the trailing edge of the sail up, which will maintain an airfoil type shape. We also have this tip batten that goes out here that puts a small twist in, in the wing, which will, in case, in case the glider goes to a, a minimum speed or a stalling speed, the inboard section of the wing will stall first, the stall will progress and work out toward the tip on both sides. This will keep the glider in a level, straight attitude position, which offers a much safer and more stable and controlled hang glider. One more safety feature that we have on a hang glider, the new modern hang gliders, is what we call a king post. The king post is a vertical, aerodynamic piece of tube that rises from the top of the glider and has wires that support laterally the wings as well as fore and aft. In case the glider were to enter turbulence and for some reason end up upside down, that'll support the glider and it'll maintain its, its, uh, its airfoil shape and hopefully it'll flip back over and you can enjoy the rest of your flight. Thanks again to our sponsors, the Pine mm -hmm. Mountain Trails Association. Uh, Moran. Motorcycle Racing Association of Northern Nevada. And Toyota Arena Cross. Uh -huh. And uh, we just want to say thanks for letting us do all this. Mm -hmm. And uh, Could be can, here without you. Exactly. Uh, we also had stuff to give away. Arena Cross, we have 
free tickets. Um, free. So email us with Arena Cross in the mm -hmm. subject line. We'll go through, pick them out randomly or whatever. And then also Pat Scullin won a golf game with cart at Empire Ranch Golf Course. And like I said, that was a cheap e or a good email. You exactly. Know, so. yeah. And, and uh, well, uh, check out our website uh -huh. as usual. Uh, nv trailsorg And view us on webcast. You can watch it on the computer mm -hmm. whenever you want at nvtrails.bactv.org. And then email us with Arena Cross in the subject line there, and that's tv at mm -hmm. trailsorg And, uh, you know, uh, today we got to talk to Billy Cuddy, mm -hmm. and, and really cool guy. Talk about a pioneer in what yeah. he's doing. Oh, yeah. And so. the hang gliding is spectacular. I just, it wasn't, you know, the thrill of minute thing. You know, skydiving was... Yeah. Full on adrenaline the entire time, but this mm -hmm. is kind of a piece. And thing. this is a great area to do it in. So. Oh, yeah. And skydiving. Uh, one of the best soaring so. areas. Uh -huh. um, we also have a meeting coming up. Pine Nut Mountain Trails Association mm -hmm. meets once a month at the Round Table Pizza, Topsy Lane, which is at the south end of Carson City. It's the first Thursday of every month. 7 p.m. So. so check that out. And then if you have a local club or anything like that, events coming Event. up, races. Yep. Yep. Just want to get the word out, mm -hmm. um, please do it. And email us and let us know. And thanks for watching. This Nevada Trail.